Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a fascinating challenge in data manipulation with NumPy. Our viewer asks how to get the maximum value in each rolling window of a 2D NumPy array. This is a common task in data analysis, but it can be tricky to implement efficiently. Welcome back to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy like me and find that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To tackle the problem of finding the maximum in each rolling window of a 2D NumPy array, we first need to understand the structure of our data. We'll start by defining our array and the size of the rolling window. Next, we will initialize a new array to store the maximum values for each rolling window. This array will have dimensions adjusted according to the window size. Now, let's implement the naive method using nested loops to iterate through each possible rolling window. For each window, we will calculate the maximum value. While this method works, it is inefficient. To optimize, we can leverage the fact that only a few elements change between consecutive windows. We can maintain a running maximum for the columns. Finally, consider using specialized libraries like SciPy or implementing a more advanced algorithm such as a sliding window maximum using DQ for further optimization. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To find the maximum in each rolling window of a 2D NumPy array, there are two main approaches. The first uses SciPy's 2D Max filter, which efficiently computes the maximum values while handling boundary conditions. The second approach utilizes Scikit Images sliding window views, which allows you to easily compute the maximum values across specified window sizes. It's important to note that the window size parameters may need to be adjusted based on the specific problem. Additionally, performance tests show that SciPy's method is significantly faster than the original approach. And that's it guys, we've gone through the solutions and I'm hoping that it resolved your issue. If it did, please hit the subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.